customarily refer to you as my familiar. In truth, I... I have always seen you as... Say no more, main Fräulein. I, Osvaldo Horafnavines, hereby pledge to always stay by your side. Hmm. <laughs> Quite rightly so. The Princessin should expect no less from her most favored Nachtrabin. I couldn't agree more, main Fräulein. <laughs> And that's the way the cookie crumbled. So what do you think? You two fancy taking a stroll around my kingdom? Sounds like someone's been playing a little too much tabletop troop. Not at all. I actually haven't seen her at all in a little while. Ah, I'm telling you, it's real! Just come with me and you'll see it for yourself. So, you were the king, huh? <laughs> Somehow, that part doesn't sound so far-fetched. I actually think you'd fill those boots quite easily. Mmm, thanks for the vote of confidence. Well, if we're going to be traveling with a king, we'll need proper titles as well, right? I guess... I can be the royal tailor. Okay. Then I'll be Her Majesty's personal bodyguard. <laughs> I'm sure those would work, but we don't have rules like that in my kingdom. Oh yeah, and can we go buy a music box first? Why, exactly? Mm, let's just say I've developed a new appreciation for them after my recent adventures. Just imagine it. One night while I'm asleep, one of the small dancing figures in the music box suddenly steps off its track and starts moving on its own. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? Uh, <clears throat> though this may be a normal occurrence in your fairy tale world, Your Majesty, I must implore you to inform me immediately should any such incidents transpire in the real world. Because, from the perspective of a Marachose hunter, or really any normal person, that music box sounds like bad news. Good to see you again. <laughs> Pretty amazing, right? I never thought I'd be able to keep this outfit in the real world. I really like the texture too. It feels so nice against my skin. Still, not the best thing to wear when I'm out on a delivery. Something about running around carrying a parcel when I'm dressed like this seems to make everyone suspicious. Especially the guards, the Millilith, and so on. They always stop me and interrogate me on the spot. I guess I'll just have to switch back to my old outfit when I'm on the job. Oh, it was fantastic! A magical world full of things I'd never seen before. Great scenery, really friendly people. Oh, and I also took a trip back to the Forest of Blessings after we parted ways. Grandpa Almond introduced me to everyone in the forest and reassured them that I wouldn't scratch anything. I made sure to fully retract my claws while I was there. I didn't want to find out how they'd react to seeing them. <laughs> With this adventure under my belt, I can turn the tables on my grandma. It's my turn to tell her some stories. After Peace returned to Simulanka, a lot of people started saying they wanted to pay a visit to the world beyond. But they're a little worried about whether it's safe or not. If any of them do visit to that, I'd love to be their guide. I could even use my delivery box to take them around. If anyone understands the joy of seeing new things, it's me. Sure thing. It's always a pleasure adventuring with you guys. I had so much fun. Wow, what a gorgeous lotus stage. Fit for the forest fairy herself, after all. Hmm. A wonderful sight indeed. But, uh, Madam Fairy, I believe the dog over there 
has been staring at us for quite a while. Ah, that's Swuff. Don't worry, he's a good dog. He doesn't bite. <laughs> that's a good boy. I haven't seen you in ages, Swuff. No eating the frogs and hamsters here, okay? No eating! Ah! <laughs> what a, what a well-behaved doggy. <laughs> you see, Stream? I told you, didn't I? The outside world isn't nearly as dangerous as we feared. Mm-hmm. You were right. But with that said, Grandpa Almond, why are you hiding behind me? Academia say they haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. Well, maybe I needed some space after being cooped up in there for so long. Anyway, it's a school, not a prison. So what's the problem? I never said it was a problem. I was just noticing that you seem to be in quite a good mood at the moment. <sighs> Who's this, Hakai? Shut up. Not another word. Ah, <sighs> you need a new friend. Uh, I've told you already. Stop trying to read my mind. <laughs> I didn't need to. It's written all over your face. <laughs> 